Well, Joe Gauthier here with another lighthearted devotional. This one is called, A Merry Heart is Like Good Medicine. One day, a man went to a pet store to buy a parrot. He found a beautiful bird that could talk and decided to buy it. However, the parrot was very expensive, and the man asked the store owner if there was any way he could get a discount. The store owner replied, Well, I do have a discount program for customers who can teach the parrot new phrases. The man agreed to the discount program and took the parrot home. He spent hours trying to teach the bird new words, but it didn't seem to be learning anything. Finally, the man got frustrated and shouted, You're not learning anything, you stupid bird! The next day, the man had some friends over to his house. As they were all sitting around, the parrot suddenly spoke up and said, You're not learning anything, you stupid bird! Everyone burst out laughing, and the man couldn't help but join in. From that day on, the parrot became the life of the party, entertaining guests with its hilarious phrases and antics. The man never regretted purchasing the parrot, as it brought so much joy and laughter into his life. Life can be full of challenges and difficulties, and it's easy to get bogged down by the weights of our problems. However, as Christians, we have a source of joy and hope that can lift our spirits and give us strength to face whatever comes our way. Proverbs 17.22 tells us that a merry heart does good, like medicine, reminding us of the healing power of joy and laughter. In the story of the man and the parrot, we see an example of how humor and lightheartedness can bring joy to our lives. Even though a man is faced with a frustrating situation, he chose to find humor in it, which ultimately led to the companionship and entertainment of a beloved pet. Likewise, in our lives, we can choose to seek out things that bring us joy and laughter, which have a positive impact on our physical and emotional health. As we face the challenges of life, let us remember the message of Proverbs seventeen twenty two. May we speak may excuse me. May we seek out things that bring us joy and laughter, and may we cultivate a merry heart that can act as healing balm in our lives. In doing so, we can find strength to face our problems with grace and joy, trusting in the Lord to sustain us through every trial. Hey guys, if you like my videos, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel with the bell notification on and share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it. I hope you have a great and blessed day. God bless you all.